Hello traders, welcome to LS Blue. This is Stephen Google. In this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. So now you can see this is a daily chart crude oil, and we have seen some resistance are there around 4070, right? Here we have seen 200 moving average are there. And here is a resistance right now, price is running in a 4079, almost uh, uh, you can say like the 23 point below, right? So if you want to enter for the buy, you just wait to break this level of 4070. So we have seen this is a resistance line and if they break this resistance line, so next target is showing here around 4166 uh, because we have seen this is a support, also uh, resistant, support, somewhere resistant, resistant and resistant, resistant, that means retesting this area and they are forming a strong resistant are there around 4166 so that is why we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna buy above this uh, level of uh, 4070 remember and uh, for the sell we'll discuss it okay later right for the sell ending so let's check it in a small time frame like uh, four hour so here we have seen this is a four hour time frame now for hour you can see the broke this level of uh, 200 exponential moving average. Remember, all moving averages are exponential, right? So we have seen this is an impulsive wave. So yesterday I told, and this is corrective wave, and in the corrective wave they create a double bottom, right? So I think you remember, and I explained already. So after reaching that area around 4070, so price just retraced. Have you seen? Then they retraced, and that trying to create a new high so people are most of the people are thinking they will create a new high and uh, let's uh, let's start for the buy so you don't buy if they are not able to break this level of uh, 4070 right the break here so definitely we adding here for the buy and the next target will be here uh, 4166 right so yesterday you can see we have seen a buy and the uh, buy opportunity are there, right? So let's check it. So now you can see uh, yesterday we have seen this was our resistance line. So after that here broke, right? So the price was bouncing moving average from 200, right? Here you can see. So now you can see yesterday we have seen here because according to the previous market behavior, according to the market behavior, first they bounce this uh, price from moving average 200. All right so next we have seen here we have seen again after reaching that resistance line price just uh, drop down toward this uh, supporting line who is forming by expon uh, 200 exponential moving errors and exactly at that time we have seen some hammer pattern right candlestick pattern so all right so let me zoom in more Now you can see here, uh, this is 200 exponential moving average. We have seen hammer pattern here, here. and uh, my buy order was here somewhere above here and my SL was just below. So price is a little more gone up and here this is 100 moving average forming a resistance and price again drop down and the next you can see the drop down again toward uh, moving average uh, 200. But my SL was just below here, I think, uh, let me say this 34, 35 point are there, I think, remember, 30, yeah, somewhere here, my SL was 30, or 31 or 32 point was, let me check it, right, uh, my SL, my NT was exactly the 3990, my target was here, here exactly, uh, my target was here, 3990. And uh, my SL was below 30. Here was my SL, right? Here was my SL 3960. And uh, my target was 60 point here somewhere. 60 point already reached that area. Because most of the people are waiting to this area. Here is showing 80 point. But I'm not interested. I'm not greedy that much. I always follow one point, one is two. 2 R or 1.1 uh, one, one is to 1.1 R like that my trading ratio always I follow that one 
like sometimes I follow one is to one point five R or sometimes one is to two R right so yesterday here was this was right so here was my anti target was from here right so that was my target so most of the people are looking for up to this area I'm not interested I'm not greedy that much right so there was my target so why I enter in this market so yesterday I told that uh, I think remember I just waiting for buy right we have seen some support line are there in a large time frame so when price reached the support line I never did sell position so most of the people are think, uh, thinking here is a sell opportunity right so I'm not interested I'm interested only for the buy so here we have seen some buy candlestick pattern so always remember candlestick pattern must form in the right place so in my next webinar in a uh, uh, coming Saturday from 11 to 12 I'm going to give a webinar the topic is five most powerful candlestick pattern and I'll teach you how to apply that candlestick pattern in the right place most of the people are using anywhere hey this is uh, you can say like that hammer pattern buy it. black crow pattern white shoulder pattern buy it. black crow sell it this is morning star sell it uh, buy it. evening star sell it just doing that but they don't know uh, where candlestick pattern should form right I'll teach you exactly where uh, them uh, where is our entry point by seeing this candlestick pattern remember all right so now you can see this is a candlestick pattern hammer this is a buy entry they are placing in the right place because they are forming above this 200 moving average and below we have seen this is a supporting line right we have seen this is a candlestick pattern exactly here is a buy and uh, somewhere here 1.1 is to target but once market reach that area if they are forming here hammer pattern i'm not interested because this is a resistant line so i'm looking for here inverted hammer like this candlestick pattern remember so they must form in the right place right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching